all right guys welcome back to the channel so today we have a jam-packed video for you today is episode 83 and we're going to be talking about the huge earnings that google had after close yesterday and that was thursday and then we're also going to talk about my plays yesterday i switched over to spy and it kind of got a little bit rough for me i, I narrowly escaped being profitable so we're going to talk about it all right, so first thing we're going to do is go ahead and hop into Robinhood. And we could see yesterday we have uh, Google up on the screen here, and we do have it on the weekly chart. So you guys can see at the start of the week, Google has been steadily, steadily around, I would say, like 154, 155, floating around that range. Now, they were reporting the earnings Thursday after close. So obviously you have people who are going to be playing the run up and you could see the stock is steadily going up, going up, going up. So now yesterday's date was the 25th. So after the, the 4 p.m. the day before, which was Wednesday, you notice it kind of dipped back down into this range. So Wednesday on towards close, it got all the way up to like almost like 160. Then it sold off and came back down, started floating again. In the 154 range boom 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 this was yesterday so this was thursday now at 6 a.m peak was 154 then it came down here 152 and then going throughout the day kind of slowly accelerated look at four o'clock four o'clock hits and then earnings get reported and they smash the earnings literally like super hulk smash the earnings and we're going to talk about that and as you can see, shoots all the way up to 179.19. That was at its highest. It came back down. Obviously, people took profits. And then now today, let's see where it's at now. So today around 3 a.m., it's like 173, 174. That's where we're at right now. All right. So Google absolutely smashed um, earnings. Uh, so did Microsoft, but Google came out with something a little bit different, and we're going to talk about that right now. All right, so as you guys can see, if you look at the um, card that I have up on the screen, this is just kind of like a snapshot of the Q1 earnings for Google. All right, so the first thing that stands out, there was a revenue jump here. It went from 189 per share up from 117 a year earlier. All right, so there's a huge jump from 189 per share, from 117 per share to currently 189. That's a huge smash. The next big thing is they initiate a cash dividend. Usually you don't see tech stocks initiate a dividend, especially a company that's growing as fast as Google. And the reason these companies usually don't give out a dividend is they use most of the earnings to kind of reinvest back into the business for research and development and new projects it's a tech company so they're always innovating uh, one of the few tech companies that does this that's huge and it's constantly growing is microsoft meta recently started doing this as well and then now i guess google is following suit so they initiate a cash dividend it's going to be 20 cents per share and that's for class a and b shares and it's going to be payable on June 20th. You guys can check out the ex-dividend date to see when you qualify. But if you already own the stock, expect to get 20 cents per share come June 20th. They also initiated a buyback of up to 70 billion shares. All right. So that's also going to serve to boost the stock. They said on the call that it was going to be from time to time. But 70 billion worth of buyback is only going to increase the shares. The price or the share of a stock, the share price actually goes up the more people buy it. So when they start buying back, shares is also going to go up. All right. Q1 revenue rose to 80.54 billion from 69.79 billion a year earlier. So Google just absolutely crushed it, crushed it, crushed it. Shares were up, as you guys can see. The max was 13% uh, in after hours activity. So huge, huge win uh, for Google. I'm super happy because I actually own the stocks. I own a bunch of different stocks, but Google is one of the stocks that I own that I automatically set it on auto invest, meaning that every week Robinhood takes a, a certain amount of money out of my account 
and allocates it towards the Google stock. So I'm super happy and I'm up nicely on this. And this is really good. All right. So let's now go ahead and jump into my play yesterday. And we're going to talk about exactly what happened and how it kind of got rough for me. All right. So here we go. We have the plays that I did yesterday pulled up on the screen. As you guys can see, I switched over yesterday to SPY. So I stopped trading QQQ. I switched over to SPY. And like I told you guys, SPY is usually a little easier because of the volume. Not yesterday. It got real rough for me real quick. You guys could see here on the screen, I have uh, three uh, rectangles or yeah, three rectangles uh, plotted out here. And these are just the areas that I executed the trades. All right. So I'll tell you right now, this first one was a bust. I end up losing like 60 bucks on this. This one became profitable. And then this last one just kind of sealed the deal. I shouldn't even have took this last trade. But, you know, it is what it is. You can't cry over spilt milk. All right. So let's go ahead and zoom in here. And we're just going to go ahead and take a look at the first one. All right. So on this one right here, I entered on the 497 puts, right? I got three, three um, options and I paid 87 each. Came down here because and I got in because it broke this line and it was steadily going down. So I got in here at this green candle, right? Because it was on a downward trend. Came all the way down here. Boom. Big, huge, huge, huge David Banner candle. I was like, yes, it started to go back up, started to go back up. I noticed I set up this ascending line and it hit the line and just kept on going up. I was like, oh, man, it's, you know, I'm losing everything. Let me get out. So I got out around here. So I end up selling. Let me just zoom in a little bit more. I end up selling for 66. So I bought at 87, sold at 66 for a $60 loss. That was the first trade of the day. I should have probably just chilled at that point. All right. So then we go now to the next trade. And this one went a little bit better. All right. So let's try and get this one fully up on the screen. All right. This one is huge. And as you guys can see, I entered here. This time I entered a call. So I got the 504 call. I bought at 24 cents times 10 and i got in right about here so right around this small david banner candle and it just started to go up you know a couple of hulk candles came back down boom 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 then we got a massive hulk candle right here came back down again with this david banner candle but then we got a higher candle and i was like yes so let me just zoom out real quick so i could show you guys why i decided to enter into a bullish trade if you guys notice I have this ascending line right connecting all the lower lows and as you guys could see we had what is this one touch two three say four five so it just kept going in that direction so I entered into this trade okay all right so we got in here at 24 times 10 right so I got out here. I closed out eight of my positions. I was being real smart with this trade. So I sold eight of the contracts at 40 cents. So I made a profit here. Right. And it went up some more. And I sold one more at this point. And at this point, I sold this one for 45 times one. So now I'm only down to one contract left. Took a huge dip here. Boom, boom, boom. And I was like, oh, my gosh, what's going on? And I was like, uh, you know, let me go ahead and stick it out. It was still kind of early and it shot up tremendously. So after this huge run, I just decided, hey, let me get out here. And I got out, sold the final one at 62. So on this trade overall, I end up netting $187. Now, remember, I was down 60 bucks before. So at this point, I was up 127. Man, I should have just closed it and stop trying to chase numbers. You guys already know I try to make like 150 to 200 a day. So let's hop into the next trade. So here it goes again. All right, the bullish trend is continued. And I was like, ah, oh, let me jump back in. 
you know this is a nice little run here hold candles like crazy so I got in here on this little dip right and I got the 507 call I got um sorry I got in on this here no what am I saying I got in got right here 507 call I got 18 right times 10 and it went up here and then boom I was up at this point I was up like I think $60 and I was like oh that's perfect I made back what I lost on the first trade let me get out and I was like nah man let it ride a little bit let's see and that was not the smartest move I'll be honest man you see that right just David Banner candles David Banner candles came back up David Banner David Banner couple of whole candles and it just started this whole consolidation thing then it got to this point I was like, oh, maybe it's going back up. You know, the hope and stuff. I should have just cut it right here when I saw this one and take my losses. I'd have still been profitable. Well, another David Banner candle forms up here and it just does the electric slide. And I was like, oh, and I said, you know, I got out. So I got out around seven cents. So I bought at 18, got out at seven for a whopping loss of $110 and that kind of just crushed my profit for the day. If we go into um, Robinhood right now, I'll pull it up so you guys can see the receipts. So all these um, transactions were on SPY and all these are yesterday. So you guys can see I'm doing this uh, Friday morning. So this was Thursday. So this is 21 hours ago. The first thing I did, I took profits from the previous day and I bought $20 worth of SPY. SPY, QQQ are Two of the ETFs that I buy on a regular basis. I constantly try to average in. As you guys can see, I got point whatever shares, but the price I got it at was $4.99. Right now, SPY is like about, I would say somewhere around like $5.06 or $5.07 or something like that. So I try to average in. Every time the share price drops, I try to average in and I take I check my dollar cost average in sheet just to make sure that. The price is down and then you know I jump in so I got $20 worth to start the day off and the first call the first uh, option I got here was that 497 put I got three contracts as you guys can see for 258 total I end up losing because I end up selling that contract three contracts for 198 so from here to here I lost 60 bucks then we go here this one I tried to do it didn't fill tried to do it, didn't fill boom got to a call now because I showed you change direction so I got 10 contracts at 24 cents for 240 and I end up selling the first eight for the three hundred and twenty dollars all right so I'm already profitable here by just selling eight so I had two now that I would let ride out so the first one I end up selling this one here for 45 so this the first one I sold eight for 40 cents which I showed you guys so eight times 40 cents all right and then this one I sold for 45 and then the final one I sold for 62 so with this I end up making a total of hundred and eighty seven dollars and here comes the loss so then again I went for a higher strike I went for the 507 strike on a call and I bought at 180 I end up selling for 70 which I showed you guys for a loss of hundred and ten dollars so I'll throw the numbers up on the screen right now for you guys, but I'll also go over it because I have it written down here. So my buy-in for the day was $678. I end up selling for $695 with a PL of $17. So I barely scraped through not taking a loss. Thank you, Jesus. Um, and then my ROI was 2.5% ROI. So I didn't lose, but I lost out on making more profit because I took that third trade, which I probably shouldn't have done. All right. Uh, today, I might go ahead and switch back to QQQ. I'm going to take a look, plot the charts out, see exactly what's going on. But that's part of the game, guys. You know, you're going to have wins. You're going to have not this was not a loss, but it was a narrow miss. You know what I'm saying? But it happens. Um, and that was just because, like I said, for me, I was still trying to chase my minimum of 150 or my max of, say, 200 for the day. 
It happens. Today is Friday. It's a new day. I can still trade. You know, we still have the knowledge. We just have to approach the day differently and try not to make the, the mistakes that we made the day before. All right. But that's it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this, I make videos like this every day. So please consider subscribing. Also, go ahead and like this video if you found the information useful. And more than anything else, please share this video with a family member or a friend. Thanks again for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And y'all have a blessed day. Peace.